It's time we find the rest of our brothers and get the band back together. Rosa! Operation Family Harmony is on and popping. The third installment of the Trolls franchise just hit the big screens, and we are already wondering about a potential fourth movie. While there is not much information about a fourth installment, we do know that there is hope for Trolls 4. And it is gonna be different. Yo, looking sick, King G. You could say that again. <laughs> With their vibrant characters and stellar voice cast, the Trolls movie have grown to become one of the most well-liked and successful children's franchises in the past few years. Several cheerful, upbeat pop songs were featured in the 2016 release of the first Trolls film, which also starred the vocal talents of Gwen Stefani, James Corden, Anna Kendrick, and Zoe Deschanel. In it, we met Poppy, a perpetually happy troll who gets her entire troll village in hot water when she throws a loud music-filled party that attracts the attention of of evil troll-eating creatures known as Bergens. Poppy must join forces with Branch, a sour, survivalist troll, to travel to Bergen Town and rescue her friends, who have been abducted and are about to be eaten by the locals. As they travel together, the two unexpectedly became friends. Poppy discovers the sad truth behind Branch's grumpy demeanor and gray appearance, and she also resolves the conflict between the Bergens and the trolls. Poppy becomes the troll's new queen by the film's conclusion. For what? For showing me how to be happy. Really? You're finally happy? Trolls World Tour, which was released at the height of the pandemic, brought back the entire ensemble of voice actors from the first film and included Kelly Clarkson, Anderson Pack, Sam Rockwell, Mary J. Blodge, and Keenan Thompson as well. The troll universe is expanded in the second movie when Poppy finds new troll tribes, each of which have a distinct musical style that draws inspiration from various musical genres, such as pop, techno, funk, country, hard rock, and classical music. The good Queen Barb devises a scheme to eliminate other musical genres and replace them with rock and roll. So, the joy of this new musical troll discovery is short-lived. It's Poppy's responsibility to unite all the tribes and establish harmony throughout the troll universe, which she eventually does by persuading Queen Barb to value friendship over rivalry. And I'm not a pipsqueak! Uh, yeah you are, because I'm like a whole centimeter taller than you. <gasps> Leave me alone! Trolls band together, introduce the Trolls universe to Eric Andre, Amy Schumer, Kit Cuddy, David Diggs, Troy Savon, and RuPaul. This time, Poppy and Branch are officially finally a couple after two films of genuine friendship and constant flirting. As they become more intimate, Poppy learns that Branch has a hidden past. He once shared a boy band with his four brothers, Floyd, John Dory, Spruce, and Clay, whom she loved, called Brozone. Branch had not seen his brothers since the family and Brozone broke up when he was still a baby. However, after Branch's brother Floyd is abducted for his musical abilities by two evil pop star villains, Velvet and Veneer, Branch and Poppy set out on a harrowing and meanful quest to bring other brothers back and save Floyd. Before we go any further, smash that like button! The soundtrack was incredible throughout the Trolls universe, so if you've seen the movie, you know it's even better. The reunion of the boy band NSYNC and the new song for the franchise called Better Plays. If it seems strange that NSYNC would pick a Trolls movie for their comeback, it's only because you may not be aware that Justin Timberlake, one of the former members of the band, provides the voice of Branch, the show's beloved main character. Additionally, this is the first time since their 2001 peak that all five members of NSYNC have collaborated on a song. Even though Better Place is the first song that NSYNC has released in over 20 years since 2001's Girlfriend, in fact, they have collaborated on multiple occasions since then. The last time all five members of NSYNC performed live was at the 2013 MTV Video Music Awards, where Timberlake surprised viewers by performing Girlfriend and Bye 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 with his four bandmates in honor of receiving the Michael Jackson Video Vanguard Award. Is Trolls 4 on the horizon now that Branch has re-established contact with his long-lost brothers? What role will the reunion of NSYNC have in the plot moving forward? Now that both Poppy and Branch have reunited with long-lost or estranged siblings, will things go in a different direction? Or will the events of Trolls 4 follow a happily ever after? Milkshakes to celebrate! Woo! Is this how people feel when they meet me? Yes. The third installment is just a few weeks old, but the director, Walt, has revealed that he and his team are ready to go with new ideas for Trolls 4. When asked about a fourth installment, he said, I hope so, and we're ready to go. We have so many ideas. At this point, we say it's really up to the world. If the world 
world wants more trolls? We have it. I would love to see where Branch and Poppy's relationship goes. We have tons of worlds you haven't seen before that we're excited to build, so we're ready to go. We're all excited about a fourth installment after hearing his response. Poppy made contact with her sister again, Branch reconnected with his long-lost brothers, and together they once again saved the day. The relationship between Poppy and Branch should receive more attention in the fourth installment. The pair awkwardly dismissed the latter's unaware suggestion of marriage in front of Tiny Diamond who declared himself to be the cutest little flower man. So maybe they'll rethink this question in the next installment. I mean, what is more to do? They all reunited with their family. They are finally a couple after being friends for so long. Perhaps a royal wedding? It would be fun to see that and how their close ones will support them with their happiest moments. Will Branch be able to play the role of a king or will Poppy give up the throne for love? Maybe her sister will show her true colors and get in the way of their love. What if his brother brothers want to reunite the band and tour the world? Would Poppy be okay with life on the road if Branch is up to it? In what direction are their lives leading? Can Poppy be part of that world? Do Poppy and Branch stay together? A lot of questions that only a fourth installment can provide the answers to. Trolls explains why Branch despises singing. When his grandmother died protecting him, he was distracted and lost in song. Trolls band together, however, revealed that Branch had not told everyone everything there was to the story. Nobody realize how complicated Branch's history with singing and music really was. The fourth installment should go into more detail about that discovery and describe how that choice affected Branch all the way through his life and how it'll be from now on since he reunited with his brothers. It feels like we got to do everything we wanted to. We've been wanting to work with Kid Cudi for a long time. It was just trying to find the right role for him. And definitely our villains, Amy Schumer and Andrew Reynolds, we've been waiting to work with them. So there is a list of people we'd love to work with, and I feel like we got our dream list on this film for sure," the director said. The Trolls series stands out thanks to its amazing soundtracks, even if the plots aren't particularly groundbreaking. In some capacity, the majority of the voice cast members are singers, so not only do the movies choose fun songs, but we also get to hear new versions of them. So from this, we can only hope that a lot of amazing actors are going to voice the adorable trolls in a potential fourth installment. We reunited with NSYNC, so maybe we'll be lucky enough to reunite Kendrick's perfect pitch band. Can you imagine Rebel Wilson going against Amy Schumer's of Velvet? She is described to be a diva who doesn't want to work hard to achieve her goals morally preferring to be greedy and immorally using shortcuts even if they are immoral to these subjects who are harmed in the process. Although it's just a theory, it would be fun to watch them face each other if this actually occurs. And speaking of Pitch Perfect, Trolls 4 can delve into the a cappella world, since we know that Timberlake and Kendrick can definitely sing. Are you guys hungry? Are you thirsty? Yes! Fries, fries, you guys want fries. I am seeing fries. Bring out the war. As this is the first time Trolls 4 has been mentioned, there's no word yet on whether the director Walt will be back nor which of the cast members will be returning to voice the trolls in the potential fourth installment. As for the release date, there's no official confirmation when or if ever it'll be released, but by judging by Walt's statements, we sure hope it'll be soon. The third movie was announced in 2020, but it didn't premiere until November 17th, 2023. So we just hope that we won't have to wait for more than three years to continue the story of Branch and Poppy. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video. How do you know which wires to cut? I don't! I'm just blasting everything until something turns off! Hello?